the State African Women's Center. It's a branch of uh, Confederation of Somali Community. But our country, is, it was good. Women, they are gathering together. They know each other. Here, you, you don't know anyone here. Back home is, we don't used to need a daycare, something called a daycare. Everybody at home, grandmother, auntie, the neighbors, everybody used to take care of us. Most of them are single mothers, take care of their own kids, have five, six kids or even more. And it's hard for them to do anything. So the reason why we're here is to help them improve in anything, any way possible. Like go to school and get their GED or daycare. We help the kids while they're going out to do whatever they need to do and just build their confidence in everything. And when they are in the center, the kid is alone and the mom go and learn English. We're calling our transitions class, um, we're giving the name transitions class to a group of more intermediate level students who have really reached the sort of upper limits of our program at Cedar Riverside. I've been really impressed by how much they support each other and I think that their experiences here at the Women's Center have provided a good support system for them so that they're able to support each other enough so that they can succeed to reach their goals. It's just women alone. It's not no men. All the women that come here have privacy to do whatever they want to do. They don't have to be scared or like, oh, there's a man in here and just have to cover up all the time. The sewing program and the weaving program are different in that the weavers already have experience weaving and are know how to do it. The sewers are coming in with no experience and we're teaching them from scratch. Knowing that there's a place where they can sell their goods immediately without having to go through a difficult process has given some of the new sewers impetus to finish projects and and to really perfect their sewing skills. But what I understood and I get here is that I have a good talent and I have the, the really the center in energized energized me and I start to be a teacher. They prepare our kids how to start uh, the regular schools. They learn sewing, they learn cooking, and they socialize and they learn English. I work mostly with the girls group, which happens in the afternoon. Augsburg College has been involved with East African Women's Center since the day it opened and uh, we've had a, an amazing partnership and have, have worked together in so many ways. And it's an authentic way for the Augsburg community to join with the East African residents in our neighborhood. And that's not an easy thing to find. When I came here three years ago, I never have a friend, a mainstream woman. But since I started the job here, I have um, many, many friends and we trust them and they trust us and they like her to be and they like to serve our community and really appreciate it. Women can retain their own cultural integrity while interacting with the mainstream culture for a common purpose. Find cross-culturally, there are many experiences they can share and relate to and then really get to know their neighbors. They're living side by side and uh, they're no longer strangers. It's a time where you can learn informally and learn personal stories that will, you will be able to carry on throughout your life. They don't want to lose their culture, but then again, they have to learn the other culture where they at. This is their second home.